Good morning. This morning I'm with Mel and Jill and we're heading off to do the overland track. It's Mel's first time and Jill and I have done it before. So we're just starting at Rennie Creek at 6 a.m. and we're hoping to go and do Balm today. This morning we're going to take the horse track way instead of climbing Marion's with our packs on. So we'll show you as we head along. So we have reached Crater Peak, or close to. Last time I was here in May last year, it was completely overcast and couldn't see things. So I'll go up there and show you what it looks like. Okay, we have just got our first sight of the barn. That's the mountain for today. So it's nice to be able to see it. The day is still clear and it's not too hot. We've just reached the turn off to the Cradle Mountain Summit, which we're not doing today did it a week ago, so we're going to continue on to Barn. And we have just made it to the turn off for Barn Bluff, so you can follow that way. It's about half an hour to Waterfall Valley Hut, or this way, three hours return for Barn Bluff. Getting closer now to Barn Buff, which is exciting. Barn Bluff. We did it. Oh my goodness. Check it out. It's an absolutely perfect day. It's hot, but it's not too hot. Done. Yay. Good morning. So we stayed last night at Waterfall Valley Hut and this morning we are off to go and visit the waterfalls. Um, just roughly about 600 metres down the track. We'll go off track for a little bit. So we've just reached the first waterfall. It's pretty dry compared to last time I was here. Got a little bit of water doesn't make me feel good with the amount of water going over here because when we get down there it's not going to be much either but anyway nice view and we've just come to the lower part of that waterfall again there's not a lot of water but it does look super pretty still So in winter time, there's heaps of water going over this. And we've just come to our first sighting of Glory Falls. This is just from the top, or side angle. And Lower Brannigan Falls. So 
So we're now just making our way to the base of Glory Falls. Again, there's not much water here at the moment, so it should be pretty easy to get to in winter. It's, it's challenging. And we have reached the base of Glory Falls. It's probably one of my favorites. just come to the last waterfall we're visiting this morning which is Lower Brennigan's. Not much water again but it's still really pretty. So we've just left Waterfall Valley and we're now heading towards the Lake Wheels turn off where we'll pop our packs down and go down and see Lake Wheels and think about the waterfalls down that way. And we're still just tracking along towards Wheels Lake. So I'll just show you all the mountains. The day is super clear, which is good. So we've just had a swim at Lake Wheels and we're going to head along to have a look if there's any water in Innes Falls. Some people have said there isn't, but we'll go and check it out anyway. We've just come to the top of Innes Falls. It's really pretty here. I do like this waterfall and I'm going to climb down in there to give you a look at it from down below. So we've made it to the bottom of Innes Falls. Check it out. Sun's in the way a bit. Pretty spot, nice place to go for a swim. So we've decided to go for a little bit of wander past Innes Falls. Awesome view of Pillion West there. Um, and I know that there's some more waterfalls over this way. I'm just going to have a bit of a scout around, see if I can see anything. Okay, so we are still tracking along. We're heading over to the escarpment over here. It looks like there's a river over this way. We're hoping if we get to the top of this ridge line, we might be able to see something. If not, I'm not sure we'll go much further today, but at least we'll know where to go, where not to go next time. Okay, so by looking at the map, here is supposed to be a bit of a river or water line going down this way. And we believe two falls would be normally down that way. And then the bigger one over across where that escarpment is. But it's really, really dry out here. So I think I'm gonna go home and do a bit more research and come back winter. We just got up to the top of Innes Falls and decided to follow that track down a little bit further. You can't see very well in some sections but there's some really nice cascades. Just head. 
heading on to Windermere Hut. Barn hiding behind here. We've got Emmett. We've got Oakley. We've got Ossa and the, the nipple shaped one, which is Pillion East. And we've got Pillion West. Pillion West is my goal, not for this trip, but I'm hoping to achieve that in the next year. last time I was here. It's pretty good. There's enough room to sleep all that's booked in um, and there's plenty of tent platforms as well. Good morning. It is day three. We stayed at Windermere for the night and today we are walking to the new Pillion Huts and we'll give you a look along the way. Nut and Mount Ossa. We've got Pillion East over there sneaking through. We've just come to the Fourth Valley Lookout, so I'll head along here and show you what that looks like. to be roughly 500 meters upstream on Pillion Creek. Uh, so we're going to take a bit of a wander now off track and see if we can find it. There's a little bit of water in the creek so that gives us hope that maybe there's water on the waterfall. So we haven't found Pillion Falls but we have found a cute little waterfall. Check it out. So we've just come to another little waterfall. This one's a bit bigger than the last. It's quite pretty. In winter time, I think it would be pretty cool to see. Okay, so after traveling upstream, following what resembled somewhat of a track, we've come to Pillion Falls and it's quite spectacular. The video probably isn't gonna show how amazing it is but it's huge. And we are just continuing on now to New Pillion Hut. And we'll go and visit the old pillion hut and 
go and have a look at the copper mine and maybe go for a swim before getting to New Pillion Hut. Made it to Old Pillion Hut. The ladies have just checked it out. It's pretty cool. I'll give you a quick look inside and we'll go to. Oh, an echidna! Oh, sounds like there's an echidna. Quick look inside. This is the Old Pillion Hut. Old journals are in here, which are really cool to read. Now we are off to go and have a look at the old copper mine and go for a swim. And we have reached the mine. It's really cool. Look. And now it's time for a swim. Beautiful swimming hole. And we have made it to the new Pillion Hut. Much larger than the old Pillion Hut. And lots of beds, lots of bunks, and what a view of Mount Oakley. Beautiful. Good morning, it is day four today. And we are just leaving New Pillion Hut, heading to Kia Ora Hut today. Um, but we're going to go via Ossa. We've just come to our first little waterfall for today. Taking the track down there, it's only a minute walk off track, so it's worth a visit. And this is Douglas Creek Falls. Not a lot of water today, but it's still pretty. And we have just made it up to Pillion Gap. It is a stunning day. Very much looking forward to getting to the top of Ossa. So we're still just tracking along. There's quite a few stairs. along you can see a section of the track up there so we're heading up there soon what a view so far Still just tracking along this way. So we reached the false summit part of Mount Ossa, uh, the bit that tricks you just like Tasmanian mountains like to do and now we are heading up this way. We did it, we made it. The top of Mount Ossa. This is Tasmanian's highest mountain. It is absolutely stunning up here. The official endpoint is that highest rock over there. 
which I just went over there but didn't get on top of that because that's a bit much for me um, but yeah what a view we did it so that's also done I'm leaving the ladies a little earlier because I'm going to head straight back down and I'm going to duck up Pillion East while it's fantastic weather thought I might as well so I'll give you a look at Pillion East once I get close to that way almost down at the bottom of Ossa and that's a look at Pillion East that I'm heading up next So the ascent of Pelion East begins. So I have almost reached the spot that I got to last time, which is just up there. And then it was a bit too slippery. So see how I go today. Okay. I got through the first part of the climb that I couldn't get through last time. So now I'm just going to continue to climb up this way. And I've done it. I am at the top of Pillion East. It's a little personal goal of mine after not completing it the first time I tried was overcast and stormy weather. So today it's done. What a beautiful day. There's Ossa over there. It's just stunning. So I made it back down to Pillion Gap and I'm now just heading down to the new Kiora hut. Pretty excited to see these huts because last time it was an old hut um, so it'd be cool to see what it looks like and I'm really even more excited about going for a swim <laughs> so after a very big day of summiting Ossa and Pillion East I have made it to the new Kia Ora hut Pretty excited to see this. It looks amazing. Look. Stunning. Good morning. It is day five today, and we are just leaving the Kiaora hut and we're heading to the Bert Nichols hut uh, with some side trips to some waterfalls you look when along the way. So we've just made it to the Duquesne hut which is pretty cool. The sun's kind of in the wrong spot today but I'll show you inside. So this is inside the Duquesne hut. Monks. Walking the wilderness and some first aid information. And the table. It's pretty cool. Okay, we have reached our first side trip for today so we'll pop our big packs down and we're going to go and check out Ferguson and Dalton Falls. So we've just reached the junction where you can choose to go to Dalton or Ferguson first. I think we'll go to Dalton first, get the bottom one done and come back up to Ferguson. Okay we've just come to our first waterfall for today which is Dalton Falls. Check it out. And 
and now we're going to go and check out Ferguson Falls. And we have reached Ferguson Falls. Check it out. So we've reached the turn off to Hartnett Falls and we'll go and check that out. And we've just reached the bottom of Hartnett Falls. There in the distance, we'll get up closer. Okay, we've left the last waterfall and we're now just following upstream. We're hoping to find McCoy Falls. So we're following the Never Never track. Um, I guess it's called Never Never because it's not a very common track, so it's hard to see, but we're just using the GPSs and we, you know, seem to be seem to be heading in the right direction. So hopefully we'll find it today. If we do, we'll give you a look. If not, oh well. Jill and I set off, Mel decided to go back to camp and we have done it. We have found McCoy Falls and oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Okay, so we've made it back up to the top of the track where we've left our big packs and we're going to continue along the overland track along to Bert Nichols Hut. I'll show you when we get there. And we have made it. But Nicole's hut. Get out. Good morning. It is day six today, and this morning we are walking from Bert Nichols hut all the way to Echo Point, where we'll be camping for the night. And then tomorrow, walking out to Lake Sinclair. So I'll show you as we head along. And we have made it to Narcissus Hut. Uh, we are going to have a break here and then we will be continuing on to Echo Point. So we're just on our way to Echo Point Hut now. I suppose we're about a two hour walk from Narcissus Hut. So I'll give you a bit of a look as we head along. So we're still just tracking along on our way to Echo Point. We've just come to a nice little beach spot. You can come out and have a look at the lake. Aren't the mountains just stunning? And we have made it to Echo Point Hut. Look.
Good morning. It is day seven and our last day on the Overland track. Um, we're all packed up, ready to go. We are leaving Echo Point this morning and walking to Lake St. Clair. Very much looking forward to a warm shower. Um, just before we go, this is the bin at Echo Point. This is for your packs. Uh, that's because there's a lot of rats here. So packs go in there overnight so they can be safe from the rats. we have done it. We have made it officially back to Lake St. Clair. It's a visitor center up ahead. Uh, we're pretty stoked. We'll get our photo with the sign, have a shower, get something to eat. <laughs> 